Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, my name is Anna and this is Ali Beauty. Today I will be talking about skin. I will be talking about her. I know that a lot of us love makeup, that's why we are on here. We watch YouTube, we watch all these tutorials to try to get our makeup to be flawless. But how can our makeup be flawless if our skin isn't flawless? Now if you are people that have followed me from my first YouTube video, if you or if you've watched my first YouTube video, you'll see that I have acne. I struggle with acne. Um, I have acne spots, not really scars. I don't have like actual physical scars, but I'll have the pigmentation. So if it wasn't for my skincare routine, I feel like my face would look a lot worse. I unfortunately have genetic acne. My mom has had acne for the longest. So unfortunately, I inherited that acne. So I really have to watch what I eat. I have to watch what I wear on my face. I can't wear just whatever brand. Trust me, I wish I could, but no. In that sense, my skin is just a little bougie, you know, but what can I do? So I try to eat healthy when I can, you know, like that's something that I try to stay doing, you know, eating healthy. I try to stay on my water. That's something that I, I'm not that good at, but I've been trying to do better at lately and I feel like that's helped me and my skin a lot. So some of the steps that I do to better my skin when I feel like it's going down in the sense of health, I change my eating habits. Usually when my skin is starting to act up more than usual is because I'm not eating well, I'm not drinking enough water. You know, I'll cut off carbs. Like simple carbs are really, really bad for people that have acne. I'll add more vegetables into my diet, a lot of, you know, lemon in my water, a lot of infused water actually. When you cook vegetables, you lose a lot of the nutrients and it stays in the water. So instead of throwing away the water, I drink the water and I'll leave just a little bit and I'll use it as a vegetable toner. So I just get a cotton ball and I dip it into that vegetable water and I put it on my face, you know, after I've washed it and whatnot. And I feel like it made a difference. So that's something that I recommend to you all. So I'm going to talk about some products that I use. You'll notice that there's a certain company that I really like and it's because their products are natural. So um, I feel like they've helped my skin a lot and I've been using them since I was like 18. So I really recommend these. My number one tip for topical skincare would be do not go to sleep with your makeup. That is the number one thing. And my boyfriend is my witness. Like I will wake up and wash my makeup off. Like let's say I fall asleep with my makeup on, I'll wake up and go wash it off because I can't. Like just one, it's uncomfortable. Two, my subconscious is telling me you're gonna get pimples, you're gonna get pimples. And I just, I have to wake up and go wash my makeup off. So the way that I remove my makeup, you know, and go into my skincare is I use micellar or micellar water, however this is called. The one that I use is by Garnier and this one is awesome. I use the blue one before there's a pink one. Pink one I believe is for like sensitive skin. The blue one removes uh, waterproof makeup or like thick makeup. And then this one is just like all in one mattifying so it has no oil in it. But I actually like the blue one a little bit better. Um, I feel like it removes the eye makeup better. And to remove the eye makeup, I'll use this baby right here. If you are Latina, you know this little cream right here. So this is something that a lot of like the older women, the older Latina women will use this and they swear by this but i mean i just use this to wipe off my makeup it's extra moisture around my eyes because a mama be getting wrinkly in her eyes and it's really good because it's gentle and i just i put it on my eyes and then i get like a wet um cotton pad with warm water and i just leave it on there and i let it break down the makeup and then you know i'll softly wipe it off that's something else that i noticed that a lot of girls when they wipe off their makeup you like just tend to get your hands and just rub off your makeup and that is a big big no 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 like when you wipe off your makeup or when you wash your face you really want to be using like these fingers right here because these have less strength than these three you could get away with using like your middle and your ring finger but preferably it'll be your ring and your pinky and if you notice when I apply my skincare especially around my eyes you notice that I always use my pinky just because I want to avoid any further damage than what I did when I was younger. I always wipe off my makeup before I actually wash my face. I know that a lot of girls will just wipe off their makeup while they're washing their face, but that's something that Koreans do a lot. They'll do like that double wash type thing. They usually start with like an oil or like a cream, and this is perfect if you're trying to do that. So 
You can get this at your drugstores and this retails for about $8 so this is really awesome. And then the Pond's the same. I actually got this at Walgreens. You can find this wherever. Okay, so going into face wash. If you've been watching my YouTube videos, you'll notice that my skincare consists of one brand and it's been Artistry. Artistry to me has been amazing. Like I used Mary Kay one time and I swear that it broke me out so bad. Like. I don't have anything bad to say against Mary Kay. If you use Mary Kay and it works for you, that's awesome. But for my skin, it just didn't. Like, I know this one girl that I used to work with, she had really bad acne and she started using Mary Kay and it cleared up her face. But me, it broke me out nasty. So I just, I stopped using it. And then when I was 18, one of my friends was selling this brand and she's like, oh, well, why don't you try it? I was like, okay, sure. And I tried it and I promise you it worked wonders. Like I used the foundation, I used the skincare and I swear by this brand. This brand is alcohol free. Now, when you look at the ingredients, you do see alcohol. The thing with alcohol is that not all alcohol is bad. So you really have to do your research when you are trying to pick your skincare. You have to look up what each ingredient is. And I know it's tedious because a lot of times it's like they're full of ingredients. But if you really want to know what you're putting on your face, on your skin, your skin is an organ. Just like you wouldn't put whatever inside your body, you shouldn't put whatever on top of your skin. Looking at some of the ingredients, there's an alcohol. It's called Benihil alcohol or Benil alcohol. And this one is actually really good because it's a fatty acid and fatty acids are essential for your skincare because you don't want to lose the collagen, you don't want to lose the elasticity, and you want your skin to look vibrant. And those type of fatty acids are essential for that. Something that's compared to that could be like hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is super, super important in your skincare, especially if you have wrinkles, especially if you have sun damage, if you have acne damage, hyaluronic acid will change your life. So if you can find something with hyaluronic acid, I know that the Tarte Maracuja oil that I use has hyaluronic acid and it is amazing. So like I said, I, I wipe off my makeup, I wash my face, and this cleanser, according to the company, the Hydra V Fresh Foaming Cleanser says that it has Norwegian Ford water and it has water encapsulated in the system and it delivers liposomes. So this is something that's really, really good for your skin. I also use the toner, however, since I've been having a lot of breakouts, I've been using the Essentials Toner and this one has salicylic acid in it and it has 0 0.05 salicylic acid so when you have acne salicylic acid is your friend because it helps dry out and it helps uh, clean out any bacteria in your pores it helps shrink pores it also has lemon and it helps reduce acne blemishes whiteheads and blackheads and it helps minimize and reduce the appearance of pores and it decreases and controls excess oils so when you have acne that's something that you need because you have excess sebum, so you want to reduce that. And when you reduce that, your skin will stop producing pimples. And then I also use the gel cream. This is awesome, especially if you have oils, you want to use a gel because a gel doesn't sit on your face like a cream does. It tends to penetrate more because it's water-based, so it helps, like I said, it helps control those oils. An eye cream is super, super essential. You want to have that moisture. Even if you have oily skin, if, even if you have combination skin, you have to add moisture into your skin. Why do you have to add moisture when you're trying to reduce the moisture? There's a difference between moisture and oil, okay? You can be oily but still be lacking moisture. So you, once you add that moisture, your face or your skin will stop producing the oils which is what you want. So you add the moisture and you'll be good. And then, you know, having oily skin has its pros and its cons. The pro is that if you notice, people with oily skin don't tend to get wrinkly as quickly. Another step that's really, really essential to my skincare is exfoliating. I need, need, need to exfoliate because with acne damage, you want to reveal those new layers of skin. And if you just let those dead layers of skin sit there, then you'll never get that fresh layer of skin. And that can also cause more pore clogging because you have all this dead skin on, sitting on top and it doesn't let your new skin breathe and that can cause clogging. So a good exfoliator is something that you need. 
Now, like I said before, this is just what I use. Doesn't necessarily mean that you have to use it. I know that Clinique is really good. And these are actually in the quality of like Lancome and Estee Lauder. There's, there's all different price ranges. If you were to want to use artistry, you wouldn't be able to find this at a store. You'd have to find someone that sells it because it is like, a, it's kind of like Avon. They sell it, you know, personally. This, you know, it ranks, it has, for younger skin, it has for mature skin, it has a luxury line. It just has a little bit of everything. Like I was saying, a good exfoliator is very needed. This is a daily exfoliator. You can use it every day if you want to. I use it every other day just because I use other types of exfoliators. There's this chemical type of exfoliator. This can give you the same results as a chemical peel. It's just that it'll take longer to get that result. Instead of it being immediate like a chemical peel, this will take about two months to do that, but two months is still really good. I mean, and it's half the price of a chemical peel. I have yet to find another brand that has one of these. This is the Intensive Skin Care Renewing Peel. If you find one, do your research on it, look up the ingredients, and if you suffer from acne, go ahead and use it. And even if you don't suffer from acne, you can use it once a month and it'll be a good start for your skin. Something else that I swear by is a skin refinisher. Um, I know that there's several brands, like I know that Olay has a skin refinisher. I know that Estee Lauder has a skin refinisher. It could be Lancome, not too sure. I can look that up for you guys. But I know for sure, for sure, Olay has a skin refinisher. And skin refinishers are meant to help you reduce pore size. So if you have large pores, for example, I have large pores in this area right here. This is something that I swear by. I've noticed a difference when I've stopped using it. When I start using it again, it just makes a big difference in my skin and it makes a big difference in my makeup. At the end of the day, like when I'm using this, I don't have to worry about my primer as much. The primer, I'll worry about it just, you know, to help my foundation stay on longer, not so much to cover my pores. And then getting yourself a serum. A serum is so, so important in your skincare routine. Like, I cannot stress this enough. A serum is something that sends an intense amount of minerals, nutrients into your body. The equivalent to facial serum is you're adding a large dose of minerals, vitamins, hydration to your skin. So get yourself a good serum. Another good serum that I've used has been the Clinique Moisture Surge. Once you get wrinkles, it's really, really hard to get them to go away. Like you can diminish the look of them, but you can never actually get them to go away unless you get like Botox or something. But you know, Mama can't afford that yet, so. And last but not least, something that is super, super, super important for moi is this thing right here. This thing can reduce the size of a pimple so dramatically in so little time that it's like, what kind of sorcery is this? It has 1% of salicylic acid, which is the perfect balance because when you get to that 2%, yes, it dries it down quicker, but your skin gets so freaking dry. It's ridiculous. So, really good. If you can find another product that has 1% salicylic acid, I really, really recommend it. Clean and Clear has really, really good uh, acne skin care. Before I started using this brand, that's the brand that I would use, and it would work wonders for my skin. So, if you can get your hands on Clean and Clear, if you have acne, go ahead and do it. Or even if you can get like the acne spot treatment from Clean and Clear for that occasional breakout, just have it in handy. That stuff is sorcery, girl, sorcery. I just like, when I start using one brand, I tend to explore the brand and like I'll get married to that brand pretty much. Yeah, so that's why I have a lot of this brand because it's really good. All right, so now that we have dabbled in my skincare, I know it's a lot, but it's needed. Don't be cheap for your skin, girl. Take care of your skin. It's an organ. You need to take care of your body. Drink water. Eat healthy as much as possible. I mean, occasionally you're gonna eat a pizza. I know, trust me. My blood is marinara sauce. I love pizza, everybody knows it. I love tacos, everybody knows it. But eat your fruit, eat your vegetables, drink enough water. So now going into the her curve because mama has inches. If y'all didn't know, my hair is like really long. I have to do a lot to take care of this mane. 
So starting with my shampoo, it is by Satinique. This is also from the same company that makes Artistry. And I love this shampoo, like, and it smells so good. It's really, really fruity, and the scent lasts in your hair for a long time. And this one is for dry, unruly hair. Let me tell you guys a story about my hair. So my hair is naturally curly, and I always wanted to like straighten it, so one day my mom's like, well, let's just, you know, give you a relaxer. So she bought this Organics at home relaxer. You can get them at Walmart, Kroger, etc. And she did that to my hair. This was in 2012, February, and it was supposed to last for 30 days. Supposedly after 30 days, my curls were supposed to come back. It's 2018. They ain't coming back. So I've been having to deal with the dryness and the frizziness of curly hair. However, it's not curly. For conditioner, I use the same brand, Satinique, and this one is Smooth Moisture Conditioner for dry and unruly hair once again. I also have a toner for my hair and it helps balance out the pH because usually if you have an oily face, you'll have an oily scalp. So I deal with that a lot. And that toner helps balance out that pH in my scalp and it helps reduce the oil. Another brand that I've used as shampoo that I really, really like is Redken. Redken is amazing. You can get this at Ulta, you can get this at Marshalls actually. I think this one was bought at Marshalls. And at Marshalls is a lot cheaper, so you can get it for a steal. And this specific shampoo is a Frizz Dismiss. It's sulfate free. So anything with sulfates can really, really mess up your hair, especially if you have like curly hair, like I say curly because my hair is not curly anymore, you know, but the original texture of my hair was curly, so I still have to treat it as curly. Another thing that I use for my hair is hair masks, like I need to have hair masks. I picked this little guy up at Ulta. The actual bottle is about this big, but it's like $44, so I wanted to try this. This one right here, you see how tiny this is? This was $12. I didn't even want to get the big tub because I wanted to try it out. And I think this lasted me like five times and I liked it. It left my hair really smooth. It smells really good. So, And you can smell the coconut oil in it and that's one of my favorite scents. So I put coconut oil on everything. Another one that I liked was this one. This is a more affordable hair mask. This is by Dr. Miracle's Feel It Formula. This one doesn't have like that Feel It formula that the other ones have. He's got some other masks that come in like these little pouches and I put them all over my hair, I put them on my scalp, and it gives you like this really nice minty tingly sensation. I love it, it's so relaxing. I didn't feel it from this one, I don't know if it was just this batch, I don't know what, but this though, it leaves your hair really, really smooth and it gives it like this clay smell. It's weird, but I like it because it's like very earthy and it, it makes me feel like it's actually doing something to my hair. This one detangles and improves elasticity, repairing hair for easy manageability. My hair gets really, really tangly, really, really quick for no freaking reason. Like, it just gets tangly. And I can brush it all I want, and like in five minutes, just from, you know, moving around little things, it'll get tangly. So, this right here was a real lifesaver. So, something that I use every day, and I cannot live without this thing is this. This is It's a 10, and this claims to do 10 things. That's why it's called It's a 10. It claims to repair dry damaged hair, adds shine, detangles, controls frizz, seals and protects hair color, prevents split ends, stops hair breakage, creates silkiness, enhances natural body, and flat iron thermal protection. So this helps me, like this gives me that peace of mind that every day my hair is protected from thermal damage, even though I don't straighten my hair every day. So if you can find yourself a good leave-in conditioner, or you can even make your own, like you can just get an empty spray bottle, get a little bit of conditioner, get a little bit of your own conditioner, add some coconut oil in it. So that's what I do. I add this into my hair or I'll add coconut oil, but pretty much I've been using this and I actually got the big bottle. This one retails for about $20 and I got this at Ulta. Um, and the coconut oil that I use is by Spectrum. Here, everywhere. It's by Spectrum and it's an organic USDA approved coconut oil and I actually use this to straighten my hair as well So I have the hair serum by matrix and I barely use this ever since I started using this and I did an experiment I used this on half of my hair and I used coconut oil on the other half of my hair and I straightened it and I 
felt like the side with coconut oil was sleeker and it was just nicer, shinier, softer than when I used this. So I was like, this is a lot cheaper. It lasts a lot longer. It's natural, it's organic. Girl, uh -huh. this is what I straighten my hair with. With this, a little goes a long way. Like I think I've had this for probably like a year now and I'm not even halfway and then going into the thermal protection this one is the satin wear I use this for when I'm blow drying my hair while my hair is damp it's like a cream so I'll just put it you know rub it into my hands and I'll put it in my hair I'll let it sit there for a couple minutes and then I'll go in and blow dry my hair and then when I need more protection if I feel like my hair is really brittle i add some of this. This is the Redken Iron Shape 11 Thermal Protection Spray. And it's really, really good. Like, it doesn't have any hairspray in it. So that's something that you also have to watch out for because it can, it can kind of like ruin your, your look. If you're trying to have like that sleek, just flowy type hair, then it'll be sticky. So that's something that you gotta watch out for. Like I told you girls, when I'm using my scalp tonic, scalp toner, whatever you wanna call it, my pH and my scalp balances out and I don't produce as much oils. But when I'm not using it, when I run out, I can't be washing my hair every day still. So what I do is I use Living Proof Dry Shampoo and this stuff saves me from having to wash my hair every day. It smells really good. However, you can't use this every day. This is something that it's like, I couldn't wash my hair today and I'm looking greasy so let me put on a little bit but I have to wash my hair tomorrow so yeah these are some of the things that I swear by for my hair and skin routine like I said you know you don't have to get all these products but I do suggest you to have at least a basic routine for your skin at least a basic routine for your hair your skin routine should consist of a makeup remover let it be micellar water it should consist of a face wash a toner and moisturizer moisturizer includes facial moisturizer and eye moisturizer. So those five things for your face are very, very important. So these are some of the products that I use. This is what works for me. Doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to work for you. If you have any questions about the products that I used, where I got them, you can go ahead and message me. I'll be happy to answer. And yeah, this is it for today. And I really appreciate you watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. I'm trying to finish this video, but people keep talking and I don't understand. If you see them recording, like, <laughs> why are you talking? <laughs>